is Kurt A S M R. I hope you are doing really well today. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to tap on coffee related items, as you can see. Um, I love my coffee, and I thought this would be a good excuse to tap on different services. So, as you can see, I have my giant coffee machine here. And it has metal and plastic. I have my cafetiere and I have a packet of coffee for some crinkly triggers. So I hope that you will enjoy this. Um, so shall we start with the coffee machine? So this machine was actually a gift for uh, from a friend of mine for either Christmas or birthday. Um, it was actually two friends of mine, they were a couple, so, um, and they bought this, um, <clears throat> when I lived in my old place, and I was so happy to receive this because it was my first ever coffee machine, I hadn't really had much of a desire to buy one, but I was so grateful to, to receive this. So this coffee machine is, it was basically like an own brand supermarket one, so it's from Sainsbury's, I believe. And <clears throat> it's not the fanciest one, but it did a really good job. And basically it would make you kind of like a frothy, like a latte, basically. A latte. And um, unfortunately, I don't use this at the moment. It's in storage, but I saw it sort of sitting there in storage and uh, and I might I might sell it or I might move it on because I'm actually more of a cafetier person um, but I did get you know a couple of really good years usage out of this when I was in the mood for a frothy coffee but I I must admit I do prefer my cafetiers because they you can sort of make you have a longer coffee as opposed to just one cup each time with this one um, excuse me for knocking the So this has this um, brushed metal surface, and you might be able to see some wear here where I've actually where I actually tried to clean it a bit too intensely, and it scratched the surface. So what you have here is um, a switch. It's very simple. So when you want a coffee. You turn it to one side, it's not actually on, it's unplugged. And when this, this green light comes on, you're good to go for your coffee. And what happens is you'll put your, your ground coffee in this, in this filter here. And then you, you kind of lock it in place there. And then the water filters through the coffee and makes you this really nice frothy coffee. And then if you want a really, really frothy coffee and you want to sort of steam your milk, you turn it to this side and that's the steam option and this nozzle. This nozzle steams your milk. And again, every time the milk would get so hot that it would sort of get stuck to this so it, you'd have to clean it every time. But yeah, it made a really nice frothy coffee. So you'd put your coffee cup here on this metal surface, which again, I've, it's only like a cheap sort of coating, but I've probably put this in the dishwasher too many times and it sort of faded away as well as got coffee stained. Sorry, because it's facing away from me, I'm struggling to, to tap on this. How about I move my cavity here over here? This is, this is a very um, elaborate ASMR video. But I thought it would be fun to do this because, you know, even if I'm not going to use this anymore, I'm using it in this video to say goodbye, to say thanks, Mr. Coffee Machine, for all the uh, mornings of joy and sometimes evenings that you gave me.
wanted to film this like um, it's actually like midday now so I wanted to film this during the day because it's more of a coffee a co it suits the coffee mood if you get my meaning as opposed to like shooting it in the evening so that's that that's the nozzle for the steam and this tray sort of lifts up like that so if you get excess spillage which I almost always did then this this plastic tray catches in here but this is like a sort of
really noisy. So I probably uh, I would have cut the sound then because when I took this out, it's quite loud. So this is the um, the way you take the water filter off of the back. And it was quite a nice a nice level of uh, a big tank of water to keep me going. Although because I didn't have that many cups of coffee, you know, you could probably get four, five, six cups of coffee out of this. And um, oh, that's blocking my sound. Hello. Yeah, <clears throat> sometimes the water would sit in here for days and I don't think that's healthy because uh, I'm not really a fan of stagnant water sitting here for a long time.
fluttering. It's a new trigger. So let's see. There's this gauze at the bottom to filter your coffee. Actually, just wash this so it's actually wet. is you is the, the lid and when you want to actually pour your coffee what you do is you you press this button it's quite loud so I'm not going to click it. it makes quite a loud click so you press this button and it unlock it sort of releases the coffee so pressing it down once unlocks it and pressing it again uh, stops the coffee falling out and it works amazingly like you can tip this upside down and it won't pour out Unless it's a little bit full. Sorry for... So, when you, you press the button once, and it will pour the coffee out, and you press it again, and it will seal it. And it is amazing, because you can turn the whole thing upside down, and it won't, it won't tip out. Unless it's a little bit too full, you might get a few drips, but...
also noticed that there's some writing on the side here and this, this cup has uh, uh, all different types of coffee you can see on here like a tea, well tea's not coffee but all types of different drinks you could use it for so tea, espresso, ristretto, cappuccino Just says cafe, obviously the French coffee, that's the biggest one. Uh, yeah, there are so many, but it's, it's a really cool design, and I'm really grateful to my friend for buying me this. Um, so, I haven't actually gone on any long, long car journeys recently, but if next time I go on a long, 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 long car journey, um, this. Okay, so the last uh, trigger I would like to do on this coffee-themed video is a packet of coffee because I thought it would be a good excuse for some crinkles, crinkles, crinkles. So this is Marks and Spencer's uh, French style ground coffee and the strength level is five. That's the strongest. I don't know how they measure it, but it is pretty strong. And although Marks and Spencer's is considered like a premium brand, I find these coffees actually often cheaper than like the Starbucks ground coffee, for example. And they also do like um, an Italian style coffee, which I think is strength level three or four, but it's still really good. style coffee. The traditional French technique is to roast beans past the second crack, where deep complex flavors dominate. It unlocks the subtle chocolate tones of these Latin American beans, making an intensely rich breakfast or after dinner coffee. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you.